of course, as a historian, you, you're quite interested in seeing the holdings of the national archives of the country in question. Some of these national archives have very engaged personnel and staff who try to improve things, often with very uh, meager resources, and manage nevertheless to, to have a good standard, like in this case, for example. Of course, it is not sufficient only to go to national archives and uh, you, you need to see where more documentation is and much of this documentation can be found on the local level and, and then often it's not there are no inventories no uh, no explanations so you really are on your own and you you get boxes and boxes and you need to try to make sense out of that it's much more difficult as soon as you get into places where the these documents have never been regarded as valuable for something. So there, there was a kind of notion you need to keep them, but you just put them somewhere. So this, of course, necessitates a kind of uh, real projects together with local partners, sometimes with, uh, with, with European or other donors, to rearrange these archives and to, to save what it's possible to save. And then, of course, it's also important to find information locally in places where you you still have kind of the living memory on the ground, like old cocoa plantations and the buildings that are still there, and even the descendants of the former workers from the 1940s, 1950s. Some of them are even alive and they're still there, and then 80s, 90s can happen. Or at least their, their, their descendants can sometimes be approached and asked about this kind of, of conditions they had in this particular period. And it's of course interesting when we get to questions like forced labor as an, as an issue, even in later colonialism. It's interesting, of course, to uh, reevaluate the results locally. It's, it's important that these results spill back into the local debate. We have like tons of documentation that has never been touched by anyone and it's very important in order to have a kind of useful and important history of these various countries over, over long periods into the, the contemporary period. Uh, we cannot live without interpreting that, I think.